Hey guys, um, uh, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to take you through a couple of options uh, we have while launching our uh, Azure virtual machines. So when we navigate to these virtual machines, whenever we are creating, uh, here after selecting your subscription and the resource group, then uh, it's asking us to give a name. So then um, in what region we want to select and uh, below to that we have an option called availability options. When you click here, we have an option here availability zone, virtual machine scale set and availability set. First, let's try to understand this availability set. So then we will go through this uh, availability zones. So when coming to this availability sets, uh, we uh, whatever the VM we are going to create now, that VM is going to create within one of the region. So now we have selected Central India, right? So it have multiple data centers. So the VM is going to place in one of the data center. So but like, you know, um, what if like, you know, some hardware level failure happened. So let's take this or try to understand this diagrammatically. So this is a, a data center. So within this Azure data center, so we have a VM. So now if we are depending on only one VM to deliver our application, so what happened? So this VM end of the day, it's going to run in a server rack or net server rack, right? So the server rack is going to have its own power connectivity own network connectivity own cooling systems. So due to some issues, suddenly some power failure happen. So as you're using only one uh, VM, as power failure happened, so then immediately this EC2, uh, this uh, Azure VM also will go down. So now our application is going to get affected with that uh, uh, operational issue or technical issue happened from Azure side. So to overcome this particular issue, what we can do is we can scale our uh, application across the multiple VMs. So again, having only one VM to deliver uh, your application using this fault domain is not so useful. So basically fault domain is nothing but a server rack with its own power connectivity, network connectivity and cooling systems. So if you are depending on only that particular hardware, if something happened, our application will go down. So if you scale these two different fault domains, for example, same, uh, you are launching another VM in another fault domain. So you can go and launch another VM. So you are distributing your um, application across multiple VMs and you are placing those VMs in different like you know uh, server racks that is dedicated with their own power connectivity network connectivity these are cooling systems so basically this is a fault domain concept so along with this fault domain so we have um, whenever you are trying to uh, create this update domain option we have right so let me select this availability set so when you click on create new here it will ask us what is fault domains and what is update domains so when coming to this update domains uh, i need to yeah so when coming to this update domains so whatever the vm you are going to place across the fault domain so that is going to be like, you know, separated uh, hardware wise. But if Azure want to perform some maintenance activities, for example, due to uh, some maintenance activity, Azure want to reboot our one of the VM. Now what happened if Azure reboot all these VMs at a time? So all these are running in same data center, right? So Azure picked that as a, like you know maintenance window and if they uh, reboot all the three at a time again our vm is going to be in unavailable state our application is going to be down so to not fall into such type of issues 
so you can use an option called update domain so while azure is doing some maintenance activities on this it will ensure the same activities not happening on another vms also okay it will go sequential manner okay once this maintenance activity is completed if uh, everything is uh, working fine well and good so then it will go and perform activity on this once this existing one is uh, up and running so so then it will go and perform so the it, it maintains it it just like you know uh, follow the sequential manner instead of applying uh, some reboot or some maintenance activities at a time so that is a update domain concept so you can create this availability set while launching the vm or else manually also you can go and you can uh, create an availability set here so navigate to availability sets then click on create so now in what resource group you want to i'm going to choose my compute rg and name i'm going to give um, dev az set one so then i'm going to choose um, region as a ca central i'm going to take three fault domains that is a maximum we can take and three update domains and um, mask disk uh, that is uh, recommended one is uh, set to yes we will talk about the disks later so just click on uh, create even if you go to advanced you can like you know um, uh, choose the placement groups and all click on create so in simple i can say uh, the equivalent option in aws is a placement group however easy to instances are placing whether they are sharing underlying hardware or not same hardware or not so that so now an availability is set uh, created here and uh, if you observe virtual machines we don't have any now so if you are going to create a virtual machine now okay let me cancel this and let me create a new uh, vm create azure virtual machine and i'm going to choose this as a computer resource group i'm calling it as a vm1 and availability option i'm going to set availability zone so then in what availability zone set dev az set one the one we have created is here so then you can go with uh, all the regular options you can set up a ssh key or uh, you can set a password and uh, whatever the ports you want to open you can go and open that so then um, in what network it is going to run we already have one uh, vnet so just create so this vm um, validation is happening now once validation is passed click on create now let's quickly create uh, another virtual machine in the same availability set and whatever the vms we launched right so that we can find under this uh, availability set just give a quick refresh here and uh, you see that it is creating and it is going to uh, pick fault domain as a zero and update domain as a zero and uh, if you are launching second vm it is going to pick fault domain as a one and update domain as a one so this deployment is happening so meanwhile quickly i'll go and create another um, vm create right quickly i'm going to pick um, same options i'm going to call this as a vm2 and availability options i'm going to choose again as a availability set an existing one right um, uh, i'm going to choose uh, Ubuntu, it's not populating some of the options. Okay, let me give a quick refresh to this page. Is this completed? Uh, the deployment is still in progress. Okay, so now I'm going to choose this compute RG. I'm calling it as a VM2. 
and availability options i'm going to select availability set then the one we created i'm going with the default ubuntu uh, machine instead of password i'm going to use a key pair so then um, again network if you want you can verify network it's running in same right click on review and create the validation is happening so in simple um, this availability set will give fault tolerance options uh, for our um, resources if all are running in same data center that is a uh, availability uh, set option now you might get a doubt what happen if my entire data center is down and entire availability zone is down data center is nothing but an availability zone right what if my entire availability zone is down so for that we have another option all right you can see that here vm1 is in running vm2 is in creating state okay let's talk about that another option we have so while launching vm itself after selecting your um, resource group and i'm going to call this as az fault tolerant uh, vm if one entire availability zone failure also i want to sustain i don't want to take down time for my uh, vm for my application delivering from that vm in that scenario after selecting the region you go and select availability zone now select this availability zone so if you want to run only one vm into a specific availability zone you can select zone one now what happened only one vm will create but if one if our application is running from one instance and that running in one zone if that zone failure happen again it will um, we will get downtime right so select the zone two now our vm is going to uh, two vms are going to create and it is going to run across that zones if you are selecting zone three so whatever the vm we are creating so technically three vms are going to create and those are going to placed in different uh, uh, availability zones all right so that is a availability zone concept and availability set concept when coming to this virtual machine scale set so we already uh, i uh, we will discuss that in a separate video all right so by this time this creation should complete let me give a quick refresh and you can see that here fault domain is zero and zero for vm1 and this is fault domain is one and update domain is one for the vm2 all right um that's all about um, availability uh, set as well as availability zone option we have while launching our uh, virtual machine Thanks for watching this video guys. Please subscribe for more videos on Azure. Thank you.